Welcome to the third of our daily reflections for this week of prayer for Christian unity. My name's Reverend Stan Brown, I'm the minister at Surbiton Hill Methodist Church and these daily thoughts and prayers are brought to you on behalf of Churches Together in Surbiton. Today we're invited to reflect on the love and the compassion of Jesus and our Bible reading comes from John's Gospel and is one of the great stories showing Jesus's humility and love. Let's listen to that reading now. The Bible reading for today's reflection comes from John's Gospel chapter 13. Jesus washes the disciples feet. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and to go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, so he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel round his waist. After that he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped round him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, You do not realise now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then Lord Simon Peter replied, Not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, Those who have had a bath need only wash their feet. The whole body is clean. And you are clean, though not every one of you. For he knew who was going to betray him, and that was why he said not everyone is clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? he asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. A new command I give to you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. The Methodist Church owns a small collection of modern religious art. This painting is by a contemporary artist Ghislaine Howard, and it's my favourite picture in the collection. You can see that it's Jesus washing Peter's feet. The artist shows them both as stocky, powerful, rough and ready working men. They wear working clothes. They both look as though they could do with a haircut, as most of us could in this lockdown time. But our eyes are, are focused on Jesus's attention to Peter. He is literally pouring over Peter's feet. He doesn't just hold them and wash them. He gazes at them. He gives Peter his complete attention, even when he is only paying attention to Peter's feet. And Peter sits uncomfortably on the edge of his chair, holding out his hand in process his whole body looking as though he wants to get up and move away from this. It's not comfortable for him. It's a powerful image of the interaction between the two men, of the, the scene that John paints in the Gospel. And it's a powerful image of the compassion of Christ. That patient, focused attention which he gives to Peter. This is the moment, this is what he is doing in the moment, 
This is the person to whom he is giving his attention right at that moment. And he pours himself into it. What a powerful image it is of Christ's love. Let's just look at it for a while as we listen to the Teze chant, Ubi Caritas, where there's love and loving kindness, God is there. Today's prayer, let us pray. God our Father, you reveal to us your love through Christ and through our brothers and sisters. Open our hearts so that we can welcome each other with our differences and live in forgiveness. Grant us to live united in one body so that the gift that is each person comes to light. May all of us together be a reflection of the living Christ. Amen. As we go through today, we're invited to think and reflect about our actions and what action we can take in response to the great need for compassion in this world. Have a good day and may this week of prayer for Christian unity be a blessing to you all. Amen.